dolls, minions of different shapes and sizes. This is your conscience speaking. Send me all your money. I'm only kidding. <laughs> it's me, Josh, aka Noir Proxy, bringing you some more Evolve gameplay today. Something a little bit different, something a little bit unique, something very, very cool. We've all been hoping for this. We've all been waiting longingly for more narrative content when it comes to Evolve. And so what they've ended up doing is creating a co-op kind of experience versus the AI called The Deepest Dark. This is the first one of assumed many, and basically what you do is you team up with some fellow hunters, and you actually go against the AI. Now, in The Deepest Dark, you're playing against the Gorgon, who can actually summon, and this is something that we always assume that the Gorgon could do, because it has like those kind of like summoning minion light abilities, where it can like do a little spider bomb thing, or it can make a copy of itself. But in this, you're actually hunting a Gorgon Queen, who can go up to these eggs, and summon like actual little mini gorgons, which is awesome, right? It's kind of like a. I wouldn't say like an 80s inspired, but at least like an old school inspired kind of like narrative story, like a, like a Halloween kind of thing. Really cool. It's kind of like John Carpenter level shizzle. And so I'm playing as Maggie, as you can see, standard Maggie with the standard Daisy, but with more of like a, a neon glowing skin, which I thought really suited this map. I thought I'm gonna look cool, I'm gonna do this, you know, like a badass. And so I ended up playing this, I thought I'll just jump right in and have a little bit of a go. And it's actually got major potential. It's not on the level of, say, Left 4 Dead. You may actually be hearing the commentator who is so annoying. The game has, like, a commentary announcer during the entire thing, and he's so, so kind of intrusive to the actual experience. I hope there's a chance of maybe turning that off. But apart from that, there's actually no VO to between all the characters and stuff when it comes to this little bit of a experience. It's, it's very short for what it is, but it's very, very fun. I really hope as well that maybe there'll be, like, difficulty modifiers and stuff when you play it, but something I love is that it's all at night time, like, you've got this amazing kind of, like, atmosphere with the flares and the, the torches, like, this is kind of the Evolve experience that I really wanted, like in the initial trailers where you saw them running through, like, the forests at night time and stuff, you never got this in the original Evolve, it was something that we all wanted to see, something that we thought we looked really cool, like, when they come across the Goliath and he's eating, and they have this massive battle in the moonlight, it looks so badass, but now they've actually brought something like that out, but you're hunting the Gorgon. So again, so what ends up happening is you're fighting a AI Gorgon Queen who just looks like a standard Gorgon, but is purple, like a neon -y purple thing. It'd be really badass if they kind of did like the, you know how all the characters are getting these brand new variations, like say Blitz Markov and stuff, but then you have things like Meteor Goliath. It'd be kind of awesome if like this was like the Queen Gorgon was like the new variation, but for the Gorgon. Obviously it's kind of like skipping a few steps because the Wraith and the Behemoth came out first, but it'd be kind of badass if that was like the the advertisement, like this game mode was the advertisement, that's really cool, I, I like the idea of that. These are the eggs, so I don't really know how these eggs actually spawn the Gorgons, they kind of just sit there. I think you just kind of like leave them for a certain amount of time, or the actual Gorgon actually has to go up to the eggs, kind of like in the older game mode, you remember, remember there was that older game mode where you had to try and, just, was it called Nest, where you had to try and hunt down all the eggs and stuff before the Goliath could like kill you and things. So I don't know if that actually is how this works, I don't know if it's like some kind of like AI modified variation of of Nest, which would be kind of cool, I guess, but something that's really badass is that you kind of follow this trail towards the kind of combat arenas for the Gorgon. There's no kind of dome or anything like that. You can't capture the, the Gorgon. It's it's more of that it fights you on its own terms, which is kind of interesting, but you're following this trail and you go to these little combat arenas and fight it in different stages, and it sends waves upon waves of these little mini Gorgons at you, and I love that. I love that they're like minions, you know, like little monsters to fight. Not you. I don't want to put you in a pit and fight you to the death. No, 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 no. If we're going to do that, we're working as a team. We're, we're co-op partners in this. You're player one, I'm, I'm player two. Or I could be player one if you see me as that important, like a lover. <laughs> but this gameplay was really fun. I really like the idea of it, and I hope that Turtle Rock take this even further. Because something that I really enjoyed was the initial campaign to evolve. I thought it was a really cool idea, the idea that you play like a bit like a... Um, an actual campaign, like a conquest kind of thing against like another player character and then it like modified the levels and stuff and you had this reason to fight but now it seems like they're kind of going back to those Left 4 Dead roots which is kind of cool, it's very short, it's very light on that though, like you're not going through buildings, there's not all those conversations and stuff but it's kind of that concept of 
you are playing like some form of like story based light experience and it's very really cool I love that there's actually other AI things fighting you like little mini monsters I think that's the thing that really just like clicks with me the fact that you're not just fighting one monster you're fighting what the monsters babies are and you know it's kind of like you saw this in the cutscenes to the game and stuff like on the final cutscene of the campaign in the original game they had all of these monsters frigging thrown at you and the hunters around that like stand their ground and stuff and you only you didn't really see that you're always just fighting one monster but in this you're fighting tons of monsters and that's cool like a queen look and you got all these zombie style like gorgons that's like running at you and you're holding your ground as this unit it's hold the line like solarian style in mass effect and it's at night time and it's scary and i just love it i hope you can do this maybe against like the goliaths or, or krakens and I, I like how that one there was like hovering, just glitching in the air and it just like made me jump out my pants. <laughs> like literally, you would, if you wanted to like photosynthesize with me, then that would be the best opportunity. Just scare me with dead floating gorgon carcasses. But love it. Really liking this. I thought it was a really cool experience. It's, it could be improved on. It's, again, it's very, very light on gameplay. It's, it's basically just hunt the gorgon in different combat arenas on, along a trail, but... It's still got that added chunk of that like, you're fighting little mini monsters. I looked in the comment section below though, what would you like to see out of Evolve? Is this something that you would personally love to continue trying to play? Like they could do it in like different maps and stuff, but just, I just want this. I just want a nighttime set of maps. I mean, is that something really, really hard to ask for? I mean, personally, I just love the idea of that. It was the same in the Warframe game. Like initially that game was very, very like in the alpha, it was very, like, horror-based, like, it was very singular, like, a solo campaign as well, where basically you kind of, like, fought a lot of the infested and stuff, but then they ended up turning it into more of, like, a, a sci-fi, like, lit room kind of ninja thing, and, which was okay, but I really liked that whole thing of having a torch, and you were, like, a cybernetic, like, badass, and you were kind of, like, fighting all these, like, space zombies and stuff, that was really cool, and so this kind of goes back to that, obviously it's a different game, but it's still that thing of, like, I like the scary aspect to it, like, Evolve really needs that scary aspect. And because you could actually change the maps in the custom mode and stuff, you never had, a, had like, a nighttime choice, really. Like, some maps did have that nighttime choice, I guess. But, like, this kind of nighttime, like, pitch black, like, just flashlights, like, and just, like, neon flares. That is cool. And this is actually the final section of the fight as well, so you can see all those eggs surrounding us and stuff. We're just, like, completely going against this Gorgon. I'm trying to drop down harpoon traps and stuff, but because there's so many monsters, like, flying around everywhere, there's body bits and bullets. It's really hard to put traps down. I'm trying my best also to take down the eggs because the eggs are what are spawning those little minions too and you may notice that the Gorgon has no armor. This is something actually that's quite interesting is that the Gorgon Queen has no armor whatsoever. It's just a full chunk of health. So you're constantly just fighting a Gorgon without armor which is and it's stage 3. This is the thing. Do not be fooled by the name Queen Gorgon. It is just a stage 3 Gorgon. Like I would love to see an aesthetic redesign of the monster as mentioned far, far early in the past of this video. I mean, did you remember that? I mean, I didn't even have a beard. Now I do, and now I'm an old man seven to eight minutes into this one. <laughs> but again, love the concept, love the gameplay. I will definitely be playing this more, especially since they're going to be bringing out a challenge this weekend where you can unlock, and this is really cool, a brand new aesthetic for Parnell, a paladin skin where he wears a full mask. He's in full body armor. He looks like, kind of like... Like a super soldier Spartan. He has like the army of two mask though with like the futuristic goggles and stuff. Really cool. I love that actually doing that now because something that the community really wanted was skins, like costume skins for the characters. And they're doing that. They're actually doing that and it's so badass. It doesn't even have to be like character changes. It just has to be a skin and it just looks really cool and I really appreciate that. And they're doing that by playing this with the community. So you can get your friends together. You can actually work towards winning I think the first two stages are neon based skins. One is for the support, one is for Abe. I think it's, it might be Bucket is one of the neon ones and then the other one is Abe for the Trapper. And then finally if everyone makes it to stage 3 you do get that Paladin Parnell and come on we all need a Paladin Parnell there is no reason we could not get that we are about to kill this thing though I hope you enjoy this gameplay this is something of a very unique experience it is available right now on Evolve free to play on the PC and 
As you saw, it takes like 10 minutes to play. Give it a go yourself. Come back. Comment section below. Let me know. What is your opinion on it? This is called The Deepest Dark, and I had so much fun. Really looking forward to maybe, maybe trying it with like a medic or an assault, because again, the trapper can't really do much in this apart from it's best at like holding down all those monsters with like the limited amount of traps but it's been me Josh AK in a while proxy bringing you some more evolved free to play gameplay on the PC brand new with the deepest dark available right now to play and I will see you all next time ciao for now